Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and I'm here to bring you another video about What If, this is What If, Episode 8, What If, Ultron 1. And this will be kind of the continuation of Episode 7 where we last picked up and saw Ultron Vision thing coming through the portal. He had all six Infinity Stones. And here we explore further more into that story. And this is another one that suffers from sloppy writing and time constraints, unfortunately. So they kind of have two stories going on. One is Vision, Ultron, trying to bring a peace, quote-unquote, to the multiverse. And, well, you know his plan, you know, destroy all biologic life and that way you're all good but he actually gains the power of all six and phase stones oh and how does he do that by slicing thanos in half when he comes to earth i oh, come on like it's clear that the writers here have no respect for the infinity saga e either that or just they do not care about Thanos himself. Because now they have twice disrespected the basic rule of Infinity War. Only one timeline defeats Thanos. And that's the mainstream MCU. None of these other ones, I'm sorry, they fall short. After Infinity War, Thanos will beat them and Destroy half of all life in the universe and the Avengers will not fix it no matter what in any other universe. But here it's just, oh, you can talk to Star-Lord. Not Star-Lord, Thanos. Thanos, I'm sorry. You can talk to Thanos and he'll just be completely understanding, give up on his 10 years of work. Or you can just slice him in half like butter. You know, with, with barely a thought. Just wave, wave your hand. Just... Hey, Doctor Strange, how many realities did you see? Oh, I saw millions of them. How many did we win? Yeah, all, all of those millions. And uh, also, uh, we can just call in Vision. He could just slice Thanos in half. Or easier still, we can call in Black Panther. He could just talk to Thanos. Bang, end of the movie. We, we are done here. <laughs> which is which is what undermines this. But it's not as bad as the Chichala episode, so... Yeah, I'm going to try to look over it for now. There is a side storyline where Natasha and Clint Bart are trying to te team up with Arnim Zola because he's the one piece of technology not infected by Ultron in order to stop him, find some way to upload some sort of virus cure or something. I, I don't know, but it hasn't finished up yet. We'll have to see where that goes next episode. Anyway, spoilers, Clint dies, because apparently he does this whole I'm too weak to live thing. Of course he does. But, yeah, I have no idea what happened to the other Avengers. Are they all dead or something? I guess so, but I thought I heard Tony's voice at the beginning. Hmm. Eh, I, I don't know, but that story hasn't finished up yet. It is entertaining. There's this big fight where... Ultron crashes through the wall of the multiverse to where the Watcher is. And, like, they fight across different multiverses. That is so awesome. I want to see more of that. Really, though, uh, going back to the Thanos thing, I think we should have seen Ultron versus Thanos. That would have been so cool. And it would have kind of made the whole slicing them like uh, he's just a stick of butter thing work out better that way i wouldn't feel like thanos is just so pathetic in this universe because they really try to undermine him it's like they really hate thanos or something but seeing ultron fight the watcher was really cool you got steve rogers running for president in one world oh that that's amazing uh we haven't seen thanos as gamora uh nerd gender swap Honestly, I, I'm not sure where they're going to go with that, but 
really, we have one last thing at the end. The Watcher is one last hope. He calls upon the now kind of reformed Doctor Strange. And they're going to work together to help save the multiverse. I think they're going to have to open up the multiverse and call in Multiversal Avengers. That might be a good concept. At the same time, I think it's going to be really woke. Like, I think they're probably going to bring in Captain Marvel. Ugh. Of course, Peggy Carter, I know. I think they're going to bring in Gamora as Thanos. And Black Widow. And it's going to be like female avengers girl power and whatever and like eh I, I don't know but it could work it's definitely an interesting concept for a multiversal avengers to exist as long as they don't mess it up by making it woke i think we could be in for a very good last episode now i do feel that this again like a bunch of others suffers from being sloppy also i feel we could have cut out the party thor episode and put in more of this instead so that it doesn't feel rushed because two episodes is not enough to do this. The storyline literally goes like this. It sounds like I'm rushing through things, but it literally goes like this. Ultron wins. Don't know how. Gets all six Infinity Stones. Starts destroying the multiverse. Fights the Watcher. Black Widow and Clint Bart team up with... Arnim Zola, they destroy a bunch of Ultron bots. Clint Bart dies. And we move on. Watcher teams up with evil Doctor Strange. And yeah, that that's pretty much it. It literally goes like that. I tried to stretch out the details as much as possible. So that I don't feel like I'm rushing through things. But that's literally how the story goes. It feels so constrained to time. It should have had like an hour or something. Definitely could have cut out the Party Thor episode, saved it for season 2, like the beginning. Then we wouldn't have had to deal with this rushed episode. Feels kind of sloppy, the whole series feels kind of sloppy. Not bad, just rushed, sloppy, no attention to detail. Or at least very little, not in the places where it counts, like uh, Thanos. Anyway, I give this episode 7. Not my favorite, but it is exciting to see where the finale of the season will go from here. Will they actually be able to pull off a multiversal Avengers? Who knows? With that being said, I'm Inspector Taco. Remember to have fun today. You're doing great. And I'll be back again very soon.